This is Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Today's topic is what questions are asked at an interview for adjustment of status to permanent residency, aka the green card interview. Visa Coach, fast, easy, and personal. I am Fred Wall, the Visa Coach, and I am known for the personal one-on-one -on -one relationship that we share. That's you, me, and your partner as we work together as a team to overcome the many challenges of immigration. Don't risk your happiness. Don't go this course alone. Alone, it's far too easy for you to make mistakes that cause tears, delays, and expensive denials. Do, well, pick up the phone and speak with me directly so that, well, you and I can get to know each other. And this is the free consultation I talk about later. Now, if we are compatible, well, that's the beginning of our beautiful relationship to get you the immigration approvals you need. Now, this is what two of my clients, Shane and Christine, had to say. Christine comes from Canada, and I helped her get her K-1 fiancé visa, and after the wedding, to become a permanent resident of the United States. Hi, Fred. Thanks for all your help with our K-1 visa and adjustment of status green card process. We especially appreciate your personal touch. The detailed approach you have and the front-loaded petition are certainly what made this a smooth process. Once we had made the decision that we wanted to bring our lives together and bring Christine to the U.S., we contacted you. With your help, the process worked out right down to the very timeline that we had planned. There was no stress or worry knowing that we had provided more than enough information to the government. This allowed us to take the time we needed to focus on our relationship and lay the foundation of a solid married life together. Good point. Christine was even approved for AOS without the need of an interview. We are now fast approaching the timing to file for removal of conditions and look forward to working with you again. Thank you so much for taking the stress out of this adventure and helping us to achieve our dream of being together. From Shane and Christine, well you guys are certainly welcome. Now. Let's talk about the green card interview and what questions are asked. Most of the couples I work with by helping them apply for adjustment of status and removal of conditions on residents have their green card interviews well waived. This is because the visa coach front loaded application that I craft for them well tells their story so completely that a USCIS reviewer finds well he has all that he needs to approve without an interview. But for various reasons, including random spot checking, some of my clients are asked to attend an interview at USCIS prior to their green cards being approved and issues. Now, whenever this happens, I always ask my couple to, well, describe for me what happened during the interview and give me a list of what questions were asked. So as time has gone by, this has allowed me to compile a, a detailed and accurate list of sample questions that are, well, actually asked. I use these to prepare a visa coach couples for their interviews. First, let's review the basics. If you are the foreign-born spouse of an American citizen or a lawful permanent resident, the final step before permanent residency is granted for you and before the green card is issued will be an interview for both you and your spouse at USCIS office near where you live in the USA. There, the officer asks questions about you and your spouse. The official is tasked, well, to look for fraud. He is seeking to trip you up to catch sham marriages, well, by couples who fraudulently marry solely for the purpose of obtaining 
entry to the USA. You must convince him that you are well cohabitating as a sincere and honest, committed married couple. And only then will he approve your green card. Now during the interview, it is essential you are calm and poised, that you don't stumble over your answers or take too long to answer or give too many maybe or I don't know responses. There should not be any question the officer may ask that surprises or finds you unprepared to answer. Here are some of the questions that might be asked at your interview. Living arrangements. Where do you live? Does your spouse live there too? If not, why not? What is the address? What does it look like? What is nearby? How much room is there? How far is it from your spouse's work? What is your day like? When do you, both of you, wake up? Who makes breakfast? What did you have for breakfast on Sunday? How do you divide the chores? Who does what chores? Where does he keep his socks? Activities together. What do you do together in the evenings? What is your favorite show, say TV show, you watch together? When was the last time you went shopping together? Where did you go? What did you buy? What did you do last Sunday? Where did you go on your last vacation? Do you share the same bed? Who snores? When was the last time you made love? American spouse's background. Who is your spouse? Write your spouse's full name in English. Where does your spouse live? What is your spouse's date of birth? What city was your spouse born in? What state was your spouse born in? How tall is your spouse? How much does your spouse weigh? What is your spouse's religious background? What do you like best about your spouse? What is your spouse's favorite dish or food? What kind of food does your spouse like? What is your spouse's favorite sports team? What are your spouse's hobbies? What does your spouse like to do? What is your spouse's favorite song? What is your spouse's favorite movie? What kind of camera does your spouse have? What is your spouse's favorite sport? Does your spouse own a car? What kind of car does he own? Do you drive it too? Who taught you to drive? American spouse's family. What is your spouse's mother's maiden name? Have you met your spouse's parents? How do you get on with them? What is your spouse's father's job or profession? 
Does your spouse have brothers or sisters? How old are they? What are their names? Where do they live? How often do you meet them? American Spouse's Marriage History Has your spouse been married before? What was your spouse's ex-wife's name? When did your spouse divorce his ex-wife? Why did your spouse divorce the ex-wife? Does your spouse have any children from a prior marriage? How many children does your spouse have? What are their names? What are their ages? How often do you meet them? When was the last time you met them? American Spouses Work What does your spouse do for a living? How much is your spouse's annual income? Foreign Spouses Background Have you ever been arrested? Do you belong to the Communist Party? What is your adopted English name? How did you get your adopted English name? Where are you from? What is your date of birth? Foreign Spouse's Family Have your parents met your spouse? How did your parents get on with him? Foreign Spouse's Marriage History have you been married before? When were you divorced? Where is your ex-spouse now? Do you have any children? Foreign spouses work. What kind of work do you do? Do you take care of the home? History of the relationship when and where did you first meet? What do you two have in common? When and how did your spouse propose to you? Communications Does your spouse speak and understand your language? Do you speak and understand your spouse's language? How do you two communicate? What language do you use? If he does not speak your native language, how do you communicate? The wedding. When did you marry? Where did you marry? What was the wedding ceremony like? Who did you invite? to the wedding? How many people attended your wedding? Where did you go on your honeymoon? It's a good idea to review these questions with your spouse well in advance of the interview so that you both have consistent answers. Yes, sometimes if the officers have suspicions they will separate the two of you putting you each in separate rooms, and while videotaping, independently ask both of you the same question. This is just like the old dating game. And then, oh, newlywed again, and then they compare the answers side by side. A genuine couple's answers, well, should match, but a nervous or unprepared couple may not. The interview is a stressful time, and the way to minimize the stress is by preparation. Not only to prepare for the interview itself, but by submitting a well-crafted application well, that matches the Visa Coach high standards. And while most Visa Coach green card clients don't have to attend the interview, the ones that do well usually experience a very short interview with only a very few easy questions asked. Again, this is due to the high quality standard well, that I apply in preparing for you your front-loaded application. But if your application was not crafted to Visa Coach's high standards, well, 
expect to have a less pleasant interview. The weaker your original petition, expect more questions, tougher questions, and a longer interview. This is when couples who innocently prepared their own DIY petitions or hired budget robot form-filling services really get into trouble and wish they had hired Visa Coach to bring them safely to the other side. This was Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Now please like or add your comments to this video. Then go to visacoach.com and sign up for the Visa Coach monthly newsletter. Each month it is full of tips and advice on immigration and it's free of charge. Finally, when you are ready to get started, call for your free consultation and speak with me directly.